watermelon rinds, pineapple tops, coffee grounds, bagels, you name it. The food scraps are, are omnipresent. My name is Daniel Brown. My name is Michael Robinson. And I'm co-founder. And I'm a co-founder of Rust Belt Riders. We work with businesses across Northeast Ohio to offer them an alternative to landfills for their food waste. We haul that material and we bring it back to our facility and we turn it into agricultural products such as living soil or compost and animal feed. Basically what happens is the larvae grow once they reach their state of maturity, right before they turn into an actual fly. The larvae themselves are the protein source for the chickens and fish, so we can feed them right to the chickens. Chickens love them. So both Michael and I were working at Spice Kitchen and Bar on West 58th in Detroit. We were seeing all this food waste that was being thrown away and we're curious why people weren't as concerned about where their food waste was going after they had their meal. Unless you have an option to compost it, it goes into the landfill. All we had to do was devise a system to collect it and move it because there was a huge need for getting the material from point A to point B. We raised some money to get a bicycle and a bicycle trailer. We didn't need to raise a ton of money in order to get going and get started and see if there was any interest in this to begin with. And we began riding around the city of Cleveland picking up coffee grounds and eggshells and other food waste from restaurants and cafes. Within nine months, quickly outgrew our bicycle capacity and got into a cargo van, which now we have a service area of about 30 square miles. I'm Jesse Williams, and I'm the main hauler for Rust Belt Riders, and we're off to UH to do their pickup at the main campus. We're past our third year of operation right now, and we haul about 25,000 pounds of food material from all across the greater Cleveland area. We track the weight, and then we calculate how much carbon needs to be put in as well. When we pick up the material from our accounts, it comes back here. We'll unload it and build it into a pile. Our compost is basically 40% food scraps to 60% woody materials. We are heading out to our compost yard. This is where we do all of our own on-site production and then we bring it over here to be able to turn it into living soil. That pile will begin to create a lot of microbial activity which generates heat. Once our pile reaches an internal temperature of over 131 degrees, it'll kill off all weeds, seeds, and pathogens. And that pile will get turned five times within 15 days. In the marketplace, if this business is looking at just a bottom line perspective, then they're always gonna choose to throw that material in the landfill because it's less expensive here. There are additional costs to landfilling material. It's just that unfortunately, most of the time, taxpayer dollars pay for those things as opposed to the companies that are profiting off of throwing the stuff in the trash. The waste streams can become input streams, and so we're able to close the loop on a resource that only reinforces, keeps our dollars here locally, and supports our, our community and our environment.